Hello, today let's talk about another variety of logical or analytical reasoning questions which are called specific arrangement questions. See arrangements by the name itself is pretty indicative but if we drill into the kind of questions that are there, see uh, they could give you a small chair or probably a bench and say five people are sitting on this bench. They try to put in a lot of conditions here by saying that A should not be next to B, B should not be next to C, somebody should not be sitting at the end, somebody not in between. See when these kind of conditions come up, all you are supposed to do is draw places and ensure that every particular condition, whatever that it implies, should be there on the graph. Smaller learnings like if I say A should be between B and C, that means I am very sure that A is not sitting at the corners. If I say A should be at the right of B, if A should be at the right of B, that means A is not sitting towards the leftmost corner and B is not sitting towards the rightmost corner. These are all implications that we need to catch. Once we are done with that, there are other smaller tricks which will come up, which we will see as and when the questions progress. Let's pick up certain examples so that we get the understanding clearer. First example. There are four girls sitting on a bench to be photographed. Photograph when the word comes in, there is some smaller trick which we will slowly catch later. There are four girls sitting on a bench. Sakshi is to the left of Rani. Okay. Sakshi is to the left of Rani. First sentence registered. Milan is to the right of Rani. Ravina is between Rani and Milan. Who would be second from the left in the photograph? The catch is here. Because I am not saying who is sitting from second from the left. I am saying in the photograph. So the whole arrangement turns 180 degrees. Say for example, if I am able to see A, B, C, D as an arrangement in the photograph, it will be the other way around. So that is that one catch that I was talking about. If I get into what are the implications. Say for example, Sakshi is to the left of Rani and Milan is to her right. So I am left with, I am, I am given a three people arrangement. Cool, from that first sentence. Ravina is between Rani and Milan. So very specifically, the order is Sakshi, Rani, Ravina and Milan in the photograph. When we see the photograph, in the photograph, Ravina will be second from the left. Had I asked you what is the arrangement and who is sitting from the second from the left for the photographer, here the answer will be Rani, but in the photograph, it will be Ravina. This careless mistake is possible in these kind of smaller arrangement based questions. Another example, there are five different houses, A to E in a row. A is to the right of B, E is to the left of C but right of A, B is to the right of D. Which of the houses is in the middle? Given these conditions, B is to the right of D, A is to the right of B, E is to the right of A and left of C. So the order is D, B, A, E and C. Given this, if I am asked what is there in the middle, it is the house A which is the first option in this case. These kind of arrangements sometimes you know, sitting on them and dissecting these questions unnecessarily can also add to a lot of clarity to you during the practicing stages. Say for example, I said A is to the right of B. If I want to just get into serious learning and some sort of a research based time pass, I call it research based time pass because it does not help me straight away answering this question. But what happens is that I get to learn more. When I say A is to the right of B, that means A is not to the rightmost and B is not to the leftmost. A is to the right of B. So all I can say is B A as a unit is kept aside. Next is E is to the left of C. When E is to the left of C, I can surely say E is not the leftmost, C is not the rightmost. Again, there is a small unit of E and C which is formed. B is to the right of D. So B is to the right of D and there is no other implication which is given. Again, I can say that B cannot be the leftmost and D cannot be the rightmost and DB forms another unit. Now that we have these units, all we have to put is these pieces together and we are very sure that the right arrangement is what we have arrived at. 
this is what we should be tracking as far as arrangements are concerned let us take another example in a march past seven persons are standing in a row q is standing left to r but right to p so we have a three people unit now w is standing right to n and left to p again a three people unit similarly s is standing right to r and left to t another three people unit so we have three units of three people each find out who is standing in the middle it's a simple question now it seems like each of the sentences if assessed we'll get p q r as one order n o p as another r s t as another put all these pieces together we get the whole order n o p q r s t perfectly in the order that we would have tried guessing if at all we wanted from here we know that the one who is standing in the middle is the fourth one from the left that is q which is the option number 2 here we pick up another example say for example five children are sitting in a row s is sitting next to p but not to t the moment we say not to t we should know that okay if we put this as a small unit t should not be the next so here when i say x s is sitting next to p but not to t i should know that sp is a unit and i should consciously put in a cross next to s for t k is sitting next to r who is sitting on the extreme left and t is not sitting next to k so again t and k are not a unit so here we are supposed to use negative statements to predict what the order would be now the question is who is sitting adjacent to s we for sure know that s is sitting next to p so the order s p or p s is followed k is sitting next to r so the order r comma k is followed because r is on the extreme left t is not next to p or k so the arrangement will be r k and p clearly even if i don't get the other people and where are they sitting all i know very clearly is that p and k are sitting adjacent to s and that is all i want which is option number 1 k and p as far as these arrangement questions are concerned simplest way to go through these questions are putting in small blanks as if you are trying to place people there find the order ensure both the implications of a particular sentence if i say a is sitting to the right of b i should have the implications that there should be a place to the right of b and there should be a place to the left of a therefore a cannot be towards the left extreme and b cannot be towards the right extreme if these kind of implications start striking to you through your practice you are very very sure that you are getting this habit of getting arrangements right as far as these questions are concerned they are not as visible in a cat but in every other exam where there is more than one question per minute that needs to be addressed you can be safely there solving these kind of questions to the tune of 5 to 10 in number best of luck